Hello, it's Charlene again with a short announcement today um, of something I'm celebrating and wanting to let you know about, and that is my new manual. Um, I've just signed a contract with Midwifery today that they're going to be carrying it. So it's going to be on their website, I think, by tomorrow. And I'm very excited about that. So I just wanted to announce that I know a lot of people are interested in this book. Um, it's um, put together by with two midwives, myself and Valerie Hall, midwife here locally in um, Idaho Falls. And um, it's called Labor and Delivery Training for the Low Resource and Emergency Situations. And um, it's great for using for groups, like getting groups of people together to practice. It's got, um, just to give you a little idea of what's in it, um, the table of contents is right here. It's got some really, really good stuff in it. Okay. And um, one of the things it does is it goes through normal births. So just to really, this this is for like anybody who even doesn't know anything about birth could, could use this. Okay. Or it could be used by people who are used to working in the hospital and don't have the low resource perspective, which this does. This is from a midwife's very experienced midwife's perspective, you know. And so um, we go through and we explain the natural, normal um, stages of labor. We also give the key points, like this is the page that has the key points. I'll give you a next couple of examples. Skin to skin contact after birth between mother and baby. Stay calm, centered, grounded, and in tune with spirit. Keep cord in Intact, safer for mother and baby. So these are all just super, super brief, right to the point to what you need to remember to do what you need to do for mom and baby in the most, you know, circumstances where you don't know um, if you're going to either, you might not be able to call for other help. You might not be able to call 911. We always recommend you do that if you can, but there's going to be circumstances where it it's not possible to get help or the hospitals are just not a safe place, which is something that I think is, is really already happening actually. Okay. Um, and then we go into the stages of labor. We've got pictures. We, we did some really nice photographs for this book um, with uh, both uh, midwife Valerie and I giving um, examples of pain coping strategies like the hip squeeze and certain back presses um, standing supported, uh, leaning on, on the support person. So this is the first stage, then active labor. So it's really brief. And then second stage, which the, is the expulsion stage. And we give some examples of different, um, things you can do to help with the positioning of the, uh, baby. So the baby will come easier. And, um, and then we give all kinds of advice too, but it's really specific, okay? And then important post-delivery information. So we go through that in detail. What are the most important points? And then the pushing. And then we go into variations of normal, okay? Long labor. So then we go into what do you do if you have a long labor? What about a breach presentation? So this goes through in detail all the different basic things that could go awry, like sticky shoulders or shoulder dystocia, cord around the neck, retained placenta, baby not breathing, mother bleeding. And then we have the role play section, okay? Now the role play is... An important part of emergency preparation is role play. In order to really go into those natural modes that you need to be in. Hi, everybody. If you're joining me, thank you. This is just a short clip to talk about my book, uh, my new manual that I'm going to be um, making available, and it'll be out tomorrow for those who are interested. Um, I am teaching some classes, um, one out in Seattle, Washington, um, to the midwives out there the warm midwives. And so this is going to be part of the um, 
material that we're going to be using because the exciting part is in the role play it teaches you the importance of role play and getting that muscle memory and then we go through and we talk about um the roles that different people can take if you have like three or four people like one person can take the baby catcher role one can take the um the mother's role like the birthing mother is a part of that role play right so she's the more realistic you are, the more you stay in character and the more you actually um, play it out from beginning to end with that scenario, everybody staying in character as well as the mother, then you actually get the muscle memory. It's really powerful and potent. It's how you remember when you're in a crisis, you just remember doing it. You, your body remembers it for you. Okay, so we do that over and over. We do lots of role play in our classes. And then this book also could be used by people who maybe can't get to our classes, but they want to have their own little gatherings in their own little neighborhoods, in their own churches, in their own communities. I highly recommend it. Um, so you get this book and then you get people together and you you designate the roles and it explains each role exactly what you sh you're supposed to do. Okay. You know, work closely with the doula and your assistant. Be aware, easily adaptable to the needs of the mama baby. After the birth, you are assessing baby for breathing, heart rate, color, and muscle tone. So, you know, you, we're, we're giving you tips. We're guiding you through it. Okay, step by step. Okay. And then, of course, the baby catcher assistant role, the doula role. And then, you know, if you have lots of people, you can have other roles. Um, space, safe space keeper role is another one. Just it's somebody that's making sure that the space is kept safe. And then we have scenarios in here. I mean, you can make up your own. We have a bunch of them, you know, just ones that it could happen either in a post-disaster or an unexpected setting of low-resource childbirth, okay? And then we go through, there's quite a few of those settings because those are great. Those set you up for the scenarios, and it's really a lot easier to stay in character if you have a scenario that you've been given, okay? We, we have, let's see, we have quite a lot of them in here. We have... 10 scenarios that we would describe in here that are really detailed, okay? Then we have key points to remember, but all those things that you learned, here's some of the key points, okay? And then we have some extra information in the back, which has to do with kits, um, the mother's kits. These are more extensive ones, but the basic mother newborn emergency kits. Um, we've Since then, we have narrowed it down to a th uh, less items, but you can still get that many. It's you know, it's okay. Um, and then we have the quick reference cards. Now, these are really good. Um, I had mine blown up. Like I had these blown up um, to eight by tens. And then I had them laminated. And so I have like 10 sets. When I do classes, it has on one side, it has the issue. So normal birth, long labor, breach presentation, and sticky shoulders. Okay, but then on the back of each one is the basic thing of what to do. Okay, and so that's made so that you can actually, you can take it and just make it into a little book and stick it inside your birth kit, inside a Ziploc bag if you wanted, or you could get it laminated or blow it up and laminate it, whatever you want. Okay, so that's the book. And um, it's, yeah, it's going to be available at midwifery.com. She said she thinks it'll be up on their website tomorrow. It's $49 for the for the manual. It's an e-manual. So anyway, I'm excited about that to get the information out there and also for my classes so that people can get it ahead of time and prepare and we can use them at the classes. I hope you're well. Uh, we had a nice circle today with you here with um, my dear Feline. I'm glad you got to meet her and um, hope you're all well. And thanks for joining me and bless your day. All right. Bye-bye.